I want to start off by giving all praises to you. How by Hashem, you have a shot by Hashem, right? All right. The ones to the Holy Spirit, which is revealing all things in these last and final hours. All right. Now, March 25th, which if you keeping your calendar biblically, we're using the full moon as the new moon, which is biblically correct, not the dark moon. The new moon is what we call a full moon. March 25th will mark the true beginning of the next year, which is the day if you're going to dedicate a year to some, which is the correct day to be doing it. So no Israelite be saying this is the year of anything right now when it ain't even the beginning of our year. Our year don't start until March, all right? March 25th to be exact. And we have a lunar eclipse at the beginning of our year, all right? And then two weeks later, we have a Passover, April 8th. There will be a total solar eclipse at the beginning of the Passover. I mean, if this ain't the Lord showing signs, and if anyone wondering whether the full moon being the new moon was the correct way to keep track of our, our older days, I mean, uh, you can't get much more of a sign than this. March 25th, a lunar eclipse, which is the new year, if you keep it that way. And April 8th, a total solar eclipse. This is the Passover, if you're marking it correctly. All right. This is Acts. This is Acts chapter 2. And um, I'm going to start at verse 19. And I will show wonders in heavens above and signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapors of smoke. The sun should be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the, no, before the great a notable day of the Lord, all right? And it should come to pass that whoever should call on the name of the Lord should be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, all right? So, um, hey, it's like next year, you know, when it actually begins, when the real next year actually begins in March, March 25th to be exact, um, hey, it's going to be, some things going on, right? You can tell in the spirit. If this ain't a sign, I don't know what is. A lunar eclipse at the beginning of the biblical new year and a total solar eclipse at the beginning of the Passover. Hey, it's like the spirit is speaking. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.